Well, Delon, one clinical psychologist says children and teens are notoriously influenced by their peers. And when they're in super stressful moments, their brains go into survival mode. One mom says her guidance is always on repeat, but she's competing with her children's peers and social media. Felicia Scarborough Troop has five children. Do you or have you worried about your kids growing up now? Absolutely. Her oldest is 14. We have an open relationship. Felicia says her daughter made valedictorian in her graduating eighth grade year, despite all the bad stuff around her. So that she understands some people just don't want to do right. Felicia lives in Old Brooklyn, where on August 3rd, a 21 year old woman died at the corner of Pearl and Altoona. Surveillance video shows a stolen Kia smashing into the car Janet Reyes was riding in. Days later, News 5 investigators saw an emotional Perfect. prosecutor, um, Michael O'Malley. It's just the reckless disregard that we're seeing where people are driving 91 miles per hour. A 16-year-old is now charged with murder and aggravated vehicular homicide in the case. Prosecutors say he did not have a license. Police say the majority of the stolen car cases this summer involve teens. I would guess that a lot of times when you get involved in trouble, in troublesome situations, they are responding from their stress response system. Dr. Bobby Beal is a clinical psychologist at Case Western Reserve University, and I spoke with her to try to gain perspective about what's going on. She says in high stress moments when pressured or feeling threatened, your brain compels you to respond in an aggressive, impulsive, and self-centered way. You don't have any choices in that particular instance. And I think that's what happens sometimes, that they get involved in these situations. They're influenced by uh, all sorts of things, including the media and the news and uh, and their family backgrounds and, and or lack thereof. So it's not a matter of knowing right from wrong? You can know right from wrong and still not make decisions based exclusively on that. She adds an adrenaline rush may be a reason for repeat car thieves. They can keep perpetuating those kinds of behaviors because it feels good. Felicia believes young people also feel invincible. She sees that in her own teenager. She goes through it a lot of times. Oh, I'm different. I'm made different. It wouldn't happen to me. Felicia says parents shouldn't be solely to blame. Now it's one family homes. The parents usually work in. The oldest kid is raising the rest of the kids. And now the oldest wants to feel more like an adult and they go out and do ridiculous stuff. Dr. Beal says neither should kids. You can hold them responsible, but you need to hold everybody else responsible too. Uh, the, the systems fail these kids. It's not the kids who fail. It's the systems that fail. And Dr. Beal says a way to break the cycle is to help children and teens find and create safe, stable and nurturing relationships. As for the 16 year old charged in the old Brooklyn case, his bind over hearing is set for mid-October. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.